everybody, it's Kim and Oscar with Fitness of Fido and today we're doing a stability ball workout focusing on your lower body. So grab your ball, plenty of dog treats, and again you want this to be on a surface that has grip so your dog can do their poses and we'll get started. Alright, are you ready? So let's start with, <laughs> alright, let me start that over. I thought he was going to go jump on the ball. I have it to the side so he doesn't do that. But anyways, we're going to get started. Let's just do weave through the legs to get them warmed up and moving around before we even start with the ball. So let's walk forward, have them weave, and let's spend about a minute on this. Weave. Oh, good job. Here you go. I'm just turning directions and doing the same thing. Good job. You're so good. Give me about 20 more seconds worth. Make sure you press it again. 
Otherwise, it will move. Warming those legs up. You should already be feeling it. If you're squatting low enough, get as low as you can in that squat and roll it up with your back pressed against it. 10 seconds. Last two. The last one, hold it here. So you're in a wall sit with your back against the ball. We're gonna have our dogs walk under. So just lower them under. We're gonna do this for a minute. So some of them might be afraid of the ball, but that's why we're practicing. Some of them might not even notice it at all. <laughs> so you can make them a circle or they can go back and forth. Good job. Right now we're just doing a circle and I'll try and have him circle the other direction next time around. Because he doesn't go very fast so he doesn't get very dizzy with this exercise. I don't think he even notices the ball. I do though. <laughs> All right, almost done. Under. Under. Good job. Last 10 seconds. Good boy. And bring it up nice and slow. Very good. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna show you on the other side of the wall so you can see the different side. All right, so we're doing that same exact thing. You're pressing your back against the wall and then we're just doing wall squats. This is the last time through. We're just warming up. Today's more of a lower body workout. Let's get ready and go. So squat and press up. We're really digging and pressing those heels and toes into the floor. Sitting back through those glutes and roll it up. Halfway there. This really helps with your squat form when you're doing it with weights. You don't do your squats properly. You'll feel it in your knees or your back. Last 10 seconds. All right, and hold it on the next one. Hold it. So this is a tighter corner, so I'm gonna do my circles again. But that's gonna be even more challenging. So we're gonna see if he'll tuck through. Ask your number. <laughs> you guys keep working on it. <laughs> Alright, we're going back to this wall. <laughs> Alright, last one. So we're going the other way now. You guys got 30 seconds left. Good oh boy. Looking at their form, 
that their front legs and back legs aren't too wide. There you go. Hold on. Okay. Hold it for five more seconds. If they already broke it, then you can just wait till the next round and release. Very good. Good job. All right, let's do pause up again. Now from here, what we're going to do is just ask for a paw. All that's doing is shifting their weight. Paw. Very good. Good job. And we're going to spend about 30 seconds with this one. Ideally, you want them to try and alternate paws. Paw. But a lot of times dogs will have a dominant one. Like Oscar, he keeps giving me his right foot. Trying to get that left foot. Other paw. No, other one. Paw. <laughs> Five more seconds. Paw. Thank you. <laughs> and release them, bring them down nice and slow. Good boy. Paw. Good boy. Yes. All right, back to us now. So we're going to. Uh, Come down to the ground, I'm just closing my trick bag up. And what we're going to do is some balance stuff and leg stuff on the ball. So what we're going to start with is placing that ball right in front of you. And then we're going to start with bridges. Oscar's finding some treats. So I'm going to just come a little closer to the ball. Alright. Hey baby. Okay. So you're trying to tuck your butt in as close to the ball as you can, hands are to the side, flat down, so you have grip. And then what you're going to do is dig those heels in, you're going to inhale, come up into a bridge hold and just hold it. So we're just holding for 30 seconds. Squeezing those glutes, you feel shaky, that's just because we need to strengthen it. That's totally normal. Body might be like, uh, what are we doing? But squeeze it and hold. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Straighten those legs, give your legs a quick break. You can hold it here. Catch your breath in case you're holding it. And then from here, what we're going to do is come up into that bridge position again, but we're going to do curls. So you're just going to press it in and press it out. So if you need to do it this way, as a modified version, you can. Otherwise, I want you to try and raise your hips up like we just did and roll the ball in and out. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds. Get ready, set, and go. So you're inhaling in, roll it out, just like this. Working those hamstrings, that's the back part of your leg. Very good. You got five, four, three, Two, and relax. Straighten those legs. Give yourself a break. Catch your dog. <laughs> so Oscar got caught in the rain earlier. Actually yesterday he took forever to find a spot to go to the bathroom. So if you see him and he looks really curly, that's why. Alright, so the next move, I only want, only want you to do it if you feel comfortable with it, but we're going to try and do a bridge and have your dog walk under. So you're not really going to be able to move your hands with this, so you're stabilized. So your dog is going to have to pay attention to your verbal cues, or you can just kind of try and hold your legs like this and have them go under, but they'll have to crawl more since you're not elevated and it's lower to the ground. So we're going to try this. So I'm placing treats on the opposite side of him. And we're gonna do this for 30 seconds, so if you need to drop your hips, that's totally fine. All right, so let's get ready, set, try and hold that bridge and have your dog go under. 
Under. Good boy! Yay! He did it! I did it! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. Now he's laying down. <laughs> Going back the other way now. Very good. You guys only have about 10 more seconds left. So I'm just holding now since he just got a big cookie. We got a variety of cookies. So three, two, one, and relax. Very good. Straighten those legs. All right. That went pretty well for us. You'll have to let me know how it went for you. So let's work on sit-ups while having your dog hold. We tried this last week. We didn't do too well, so we're gonna try it again. <laughs> all right. So, kind of straddle that ball, and then all you're going to do is ask for a pause up. Let me grab Oscar. I wanna have a few treats in hand. So, let me get him over this way. So, I want him more centered. All right, now you got it. We're gonna get this move. All right, so just like this, his forearms are down. That's fine with me. Stay. It's a little easier on him. And now we're gonna try and do sit-ups. Stay. <laughs> so it should look like that while they're holding while you're trying to sit up. So let me get him back up. No, oh. You guys keep going, the clock is still on. Up, oh. good boy. Stay. Stay. So this is requiring you to sit up more so you can see your dog. Stay. And not only that, as you're coming up, it's kind of shifting your weight, so it's shifting their weight, so they really have to counterbalance. You guys got five more. Three, two, and relax. Help them down off the ball. Good. Now he wants to step. <laughs> Good boy. All right, so we're going to try that round from the top just one more time through. So, hopefully the next time through the sit-ups and pet will look a little nicer. At least for us. Maybe you guys got it the first round. We've been having a little bit of a challenge with it, but once we get it, it's going to look super cute and you guys are going to be like, oh, that looks so cute, right? <laughs> All right, so we're starting back at the beginning with our bridges. So. Heels on the ball, inhale, raise those hips up and just hold it for 30 seconds. Squeezing the glutes, try and get those heels up as high as you can. The higher you get it, the more you're going to feel it. As you see, my ball's really shaking. <laughs> if you ever feel like you're ever gonna get a cramp, then release. Because this puts a lot more emphasis on it than if you were doing it on the floor. Almost done, guys. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Straighten those legs. Very good. All right, quick little break, and then we're doing those hamstring curls. So again, that's targeting that back muscle. We're targeting it twice in a row. But don't worry, we'll, we'll stretch after this. Today is just more of a lower body workout with the ball. All right, so let's inhale, raise those hips up and curl it out. Straighten and bring it in. There you go. Take your time with this. Each rep, you want to breathe. Still keeping those hips up unless you're modifying it by keeping them on the ground. Last 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. And relax, drop those hips, relax those legs. All right, two more things left in this circuit. The next thing is doing that bridge hold while trying to have your dog walk under. So the first round, me and Oscar didn't do too bad with that, so hopefully, it goes well again. Um, again, if you don't feel comfortable with that, if you feel like you're going to tip over or anything, 
And then don't include your dog yet because you don't want to fall on them. You don't want to freak them out. So again, 30 seconds. Let's get ready and go. So inhale, lift those hips. Have your dog walk under or crawl. To modify it, you'll keep those hips on the ground. There you go, Oscar. Good boy. Halfway there. Under. Very good, Oscar. And he likes to lay right underneath me. That makes me hold my legs up. <laughs> and relax. Very good. Straighten those legs. Good boy, Oscar. All right, the last thing in the circuit is the sit up and pet. So again, straddle that ball. You always want to make sure it's nice and safe. And then we're trying to do that pause up. And then we're trying to do sit ups. <laughs> so I'll start the clock in a few seconds. You want to line them up first. Again, that's always important. It sets them up for success, especially with this move. It sets you both up for success. All right, get ready, set, and go. 30 seconds. Stay. 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 Good boy. Good. Stay. Good boy. Very good. So I have plenty of treats in my hand. So each time I come up, he's getting a treat. I grabbed about 10 treats. You guys got five seconds. Three, two, and relax and bring them down nice and slow. Good job. So you always want to be safe with this, especially Oscar is older. So it really depends on your body and your dog's body. So you always got to take that into consideration. Good boy, Oscar. All right. <laughs> I'm just doing a treat refill real quick. Which also, by the way, that second set of our sit ups and pet went so much better. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of stuff with us. We're gonna do four sets of 20 seconds. So what we're going to start with, if you wanna be against the wall, your feet against the wall, that'll give you more support, you can. Good boy. <laughs> or if you wanna do a pause up like Oscar, we can do that real quick. Good boy. So you can do a little forearm where they come down on their forearms and then try and bring them back up onto their feet. Very good. <laughs> there you go. So it's a lot more bouncy because it's only against one arm and one leg right now compared to when I straddle it. There you go. And let's give them five more seconds and then release them. Good boy, Oscar. <laughs> Good boy. All right, let me take the ball from him before he takes it and close my treat bag. Because when I'm working out, that's when I'm to steal the treats. All right, so anyways, back to us. You're going to lay against the ball. Your chest is going to be on the ball feet. I have mine against the wall, so I have more support. We're gonna do some lower back extension, so that means you're just coming up like this. So 20 seconds, let's get ready, set, and go. Up all the way. And down, this is really working the lower back. There you go. Good boy. And relax. All right, quick 10 second break. We're gonna do that three more times. And go, same thing, really try and bring it all the way down and back up. So again, if you want to make it harder, you'll just move away from the wall. And relax, 10 seconds rest. I'm just going to move to this side so you guys can see how I have my legs against the wall. All right, ready, set, and go. Third set, bringing it down and up. And since my knees are against the wall, if I raise them up, it's going to work on my core and balance more compared to leaving those knees on the ground. And relax, one more set. 
All right, and go. 20 seconds. Last set of our lower back extensions. All the way down and up. Breathing each time. You got three, two, one, and relax. And let's just kind of melt into the ball to release those back muscles. Quick stretch here. All right, next, we're gonna do some planks. So, that is just where we're rolling onto our forearms, kind of the elbows are tucked in. Feet can be against the wall again, so it helps you not roll away. And we're gonna hold it for 20 seconds, four sets. Ready, set, and go. There you go, trying to keep that core stable. Still in a nice straight line with your neck and hips. And relax, very good. Three more sets of that. So last week too, we tried to do planks with the dog, or maybe that was two weeks ago, but let's just say it was a mess. Um, at least for me. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to work on that more. All right, second set, and go. We might work on that just separately after we finish this circuit. Five seconds. Two, one, and relax. Halfway there. Hi, Oscar. Good boy. All right, get back into position and go. Third set of planks. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Very good. One more set. You should be feeling that core, making sure you squeeze. All right, last set. Get ready and go. Make sure you're still breathing. Last set of the planks. Trying to stay on those elbows. No cheating by bringing your belly into the ball. For three, two, one, and relax. Very good. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar's such a good support dog. Yes, are you a good cheerleader? He's my trainer. <laughs> As we know, this is Coach Oscar. <laughs> yes. All right, let's do a pause up hold real quick. If your dog is around, oh. very good. So like I always say, you want the dogs to respect your space so they're not trying to tip you over, especially doing a ball workout. And you always, but you always want to invite them into the space and include them as much as possible. All right, the last thing in the circuit are tucks with the ball. So this is gonna be a little more challenging. Let me move it over here. So what you're going to do, I'm not sure, sorry. If I ever leave my treat bag open, he's, he's a shark. All right, your feet are going to go up on the ball, your hands are in a plank, and then what we're going to try and do is bring that uh, ball into the chest area. So let's get in that starting position. Watch out, it's good. However you need to get into it, All right, you're holding your plank. That's good, watch out. Now you can just hold it here for the 20 seconds, otherwise you can do some tucks by bringing those knees into your chest. Thank you. 10 seconds with the either version. Three. Two, one, and relax. So we're gonna do that three more times. I'm just keeping my feet here so it's easier to reset. Inhale in, 
exhale out, second set and go. Get your plank position first, and then when you're ready, add those knee tucks or just hold the plank. Five seconds. And relax. Halfway there. All right. Those are making me break a sweat now. <laughs> Catch your breath. You gotta breathe so you can work out. Third set, get ready, set, and go. Five seconds. And relax. Whew. All right, one more set. Ten seconds rest. All right, ready, set, and go. Last set. Try to keep that core strong, hold it there, or add the knees. Ten seconds. Eight, six, four, two, and relax. Very good. All right. Shake those wrists out. Yes, Oscar. Hello. <laughs> good boy. All right. Catch your breath. That was a harder one. <laughs> Hello. Let's include the dogs one more time for a pause up. Make sure that ball is secure. Safety first. So let's try a little stretch with them since we're almost done. So what we're going to do is get them on the ball and then you're just going to kind of rock them forward. Try and keep them in the center. Nice and easy. Have a few treats again. That's always the trick to doing uh, a lot of these exercises and stretches. And we're just trying to get them to kind of melt into the ball, it's going to stretch out this back end. So I'm going to try that again. Okay. We'll spend about less than a minute on this. So just take your time with it. That was my fault. <laughs> Good job. Getting that neck to go into the ball like this, even though he slid off. <laughs> um, but basically, it's just helping them stretch out like if you were doing a reverse back bend on the ball. So it just looks like this when we do it, which is a nice stretch as well. That's what we're trying to get the dogs to do. Um, but again, that takes practice. Um, like he, he has a, he, Trying to think. Leia does it much better than him. Um, he just always tends to roll off the ball um, to one side and he has a tight muscle so this is a good stretch for him. His left quad area is tight um, so we try and do it. Otherwise there's only so many exercises you can do with your dog on a ball. Um, like we can try and get up to where they do all fours on there. Um, but that's going to take a lot more practice or just to kind of, that's for the smaller dogs as well. Not saying it's not possible for the big dogs, but then that's where a peanut would come in handy. Um, or they would have to kind of sit on it. Um, but that's going to make the ball a lot more bouncier. So <laughs> that's why we just do the paws up. And paws up is actually, it never hurts to do that one just because it helps build up that back end. And that's the muscle that goes first in dogs. All right. So, the last set of things. I see you. <laughs> We're gonna do some sit-ups on the ball. Watch out, Oscar. All right, so if you wanna place your feet against the wall, you can so you have more support. And then what we're going to do is just roll where your hips are onto the ball, like this. You're nice and parallel. 
Feet are planted, hands are coming behind your head. And we're going to inhale and bring it up into a sit up. So we're gonna do this one minute, just one time through. Get ready, set, and go. Try and bring it all the way up and then roll all the way back. Because then that's working your core more because you're getting that more range of motion compared to doing it on the floor where the floor stops you. Inhale, going back. Exhale, coming up. Halfway there, guys. Only one more. You know, last time through with these, there's only one round. Good boy. Five seconds. Three, two, and hold it at the top. And relax, have a seat, very good. All right, we're almost done with today's workout. Next, we're going to do some crosses. So we're gonna do right leg and left arm. And you're going to hold that tabletop position like we started with the sit-ups. And then you're just going to try and bring that knee up and the hand to meet in the center. Um, or the best that you can, even if it's only like an inch off the ground. So I'm gonna move closer to the wall so I have some uh, stability. This ball definitely takes training up a notch. All right, so I'm gonna try it here first. So the right leg's planted, left leg. I'm gonna bring it up and down like this. Straightening that arm over your head, bringing that knee up. If you wanna make it harder, you'll straighten that leg. So we're doing this for 30 seconds on each side. That left hand is down to give you support. You guys keep going. I'm just taking a quick break. <laughs> you guys got 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, and relax. Very good. Come up into a seated position. We're gonna do the other side in just a second. Coming back over here to try it on uh, a more advanced way. Good boy. So you can see, you probably feel a little more on one side. All right, you guys ready? Set, get back in the tabletop. Right arm is on the ground. Right leg is coming up, sorry, and left arm. Okay. Ready? Set, and go. So left arm, right leg, but that right hand and left leg are planted to counterbalance. So this is the more advanced way. Not on the wall, keeping that leg straight. Five seconds. Last one. And relax. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you guys feel it like I feel it or is it just me? <laughs> All right, one more thing left uh, and then we'll start cooling down. So we're just going to do bridges now in that tabletop position where you're bringing your hips down and up. All right, good boy. Optional when we do this, because it's a one minute round if you want to try and have your dog go under. I mean, yeah, I still got treats. All right, again, you can always do this against the wall so you have more support. So first, roll into that tabletop like this. This time you're bringing it all the way up on the upper shoulder area, and then the hips are going down and up. Or for you all with little dogs, you can place them on your hips and you'll get a little more of a workout. So one minute, get ready, set, and go. Down, pull those hips up, squeeze at the top. While you're on top, you can try and have your dog go under. Oscar, under, under, nope, okay. <laughs> under, good, 
good job, Oscar. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get those treats. Okay. Go get them over here. Halfway there. Down and up. Power those hip up, hips up towards the ceiling each time. Very good, Oscar. 10 seconds. Oscar. Under. There you go. Good boy. Five, four, three, two, and one. And roll into a little back bend on the ball for a quick stretch of the abs. Lower back and shoulders. Kind of play around in this stretch. Hands can go out to the side, over your head, whatever feels best. And hold it. Let's hold it about 10 more seconds. And slowly roll it back to the top when you're ready. So while everybody's kind of coming up into a seated position, you're just sitting up nice and tall, nice and grounded into those sit bones, sitting up nice and tall. And let's just focus on our breath as we begin to pull down. There you go. From here, let's just inhale that right arm up and over to the left side, kind of shifting your balance since you're sitting on the ball. And to the other side. And back up. Let's take that left hand down to the ground. So you're leaning down to the ground. From here, you can take that right arm over and stretch. So it's a little bit of a bigger stretch. And slowly switch sides. Bring that right hand down. Once you get it there, bring that left arm over. And back up to the top, and then let's just finish. I have two treats left, just enough. Having your dog walk around your body just nice and slow while you're sitting on the ball. And each direction, good boy. Still trying to keep them nice and close. And then let's bring them into a sit in front of us. Good boy. Have them stay. And inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. This last one. Give your dog a nice big hug and kiss. Yes. You did good today, Oscar. Yes, you did. Yes. Good job. Yeah, we're all done. Yes, we are. <laughs> all right, so thanks for joining us today. I'll come check the comments. And he's going to finish my treat bag, but please give this video a like and subscribe if you're new.